Hey, this is Dirk. Um, I'm going to show you guys an uh, effective way to use automation in a song. I'm going to demonstrate it with my song Blue Jays on Cloudy Days, um, which you can find on my SoundCloud, which I'll put a link in the description of the video. Um, so the first thing um, I wanted to show you is at the beginning of the song, I have this audio clip um, that repeats and... Um, besides putting a whole bunch of effects on that audio clip, um, I did some automation with a reverb send that I have down here. It's a long reverb send that I have set up. Um, so right now, this uh, last clip is the um, clip with no automation and no effects on it, and I'll give you a taste of what that sounds like. <laughs> So as you can hear, it sounds a little flat, um, there's not really much going on there. So let's see what it sounds like with the effects, and I'll pull up the automation to this long reverb. Um, basically I turn up the send to that long reverb effect um, periodically throughout the clip and you'll see what that sounds like here. <coughs> so it gives it a nice um interesting effect with the long reverb in certain parts of uh, that clip. Um, also, I don't know if you could tell, I have some track volume automation at the very beginning, just because I wanted to fade up rather than um, just jump in right at full volume. So the other thing that I wanted to show you in this song was some automation that I did with the main sense up here. So this is um, uh, the main drop of the song. Um, and I have these two synths. Um, it's actually the same synth copied, I believe. And um, one of the MIDI clips is up higher an octave than the other, so it creates a nice effect. Um, and here we can see the LFO synced rate. So this is uh, how fast the wobbles wobble when it drops. And then um, over here, you can see when the clip repeats. Um, this is the uh, wave table. Um, selector for the uh, LFO so it'll go like a saw wave LFO versus a sine wave LFO or something different and you can hear how that um, pans out here so you can uh, hear how the wobbles are like going faster and slower at different parts and that's because of this automation up and down here And now you can hear in the second part how this uh, automation controls the different sounds to those wobbles. So like a saw wave LFO versus a sine wave versus square wave. So there you go. That's a quick demonstration of how you can use automation to make something interesting in your song. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. And, and thanks a lot for watching.